Two quick and important announcements. First, the results of the most recent Panorama survey are in and they illustrate a remarkable increase in favorable student responses. In grades three through five to the question, if you walked into class upset, how concerned would your teacher be? In spring of 2019, 54 percent of the students gave that a favorable rating and this year 64 percent gave that a favorable rating. A 10 percentage point change to the positive. In grades 6 through 12 to that same question, 40 percent gave it a favorable rating in 2019 and this year 63 percent gave that a favorable rating, a 23 percent increase. Dramatic improvements. Throughout the report, there are many areas in which we experienced increased favorable ratings. This is accomplished when intentional changes in environment and practice are strategically and consistently implemented, and I wish to commend all staff who contributed towards this very positive outcome. Principals have received the report and will be reviewing that so that they can share the changes with you. Secondly, I want you to know that I will be releasing a public announcement today of my intention to retire at the end of this school year. Last spring when I planned this announcement, I was timing it for early January. However, the group hired to advise the board on finding a new superintendent asked if I could move my announcement up so they could conduct focus group discussions in December to determine the qualities to be prioritized in selecting the new superintendent. I'm glad to oblige that request, hence the announcement today. I encourage you to be involved in that focus group process. The objective of the school board is to have my replacement named by the early spring and on the job on July 1st next year. In the meantime, I'm working with you through the most tumultuous period in my career, most likely yours too. We've built new structures for learning and we ourselves have been learning along the way. We've been student focused, but as you know and have experienced, it's been hard. I wish I could say that times will get easier in the days ahead, but I can't. There's no definite ending date for this pandemic, so there remains ahead of us uncertainty, challenge, and yes, opportunity. Six years ago when I accepted this appointment, we faced some tremendous financial challenges and through working together, we've created internal structures that we now take for granted on most days. Mental health therapists, assistant principals, community-based educational programs at Ritchie Woods and Connor Prairie, and more on the drawing board. We will come through this pandemic period and we will be more technologically capable of assisting students than ever before. I've been proud of this organization and you continue to inspire pride. In the next seven months, let's face down the emerging challenges and continue to give students and parents reasons to take pride in this place we call HSE. Thank you.